We need to move the, the machine or the end mill to a location that will have a... We're going to put it about right here because I want the, um, the parts to be laid out in this location here. I'm going to try that. It's probably about that size. Get, get a little bit farther away from my other parts. So I just zeroed my x-axis and now I'm going to zero my y-axis. So now we have it in this location, but it's actually going to be, um, you know, we rock it out. The X is actually the length of the table, so, so we have that as, uh, as the, the Z should already be pretty good. And I'm going to zero the Z anyway. I'm going to zero the Z. Visually. Okay, that should be good. Okay, now zero the Z, it was already at pretty close to zero. And... Now we're going to run the part. Actually, let me see how. Let me make sure that I have it good. Okay, so we've set this location to zero. We're gonna go ahead and, and rot out the. Uh, turn on the router for me. Okay, so the pieces can now be cut out. Let me move the gantry so pieces can be cut out. And this is the method that we use to remove the piece from the where it's held by the holding tab. Be careful not to get into the wood. And watch your fingers. All right, good. Oh, 
right, you want to um, take, we're going to remove the, the holding tabs. Okay, so you can see that we have the pockets that we've designed. And it's actually going to be in, in this orientation, up against the, the router mount. Um, we have the two holes, we have the two larger holes. Let me see this piece. And we have the other piece that we created, which is a, a large pocket all the way around. This is smooth, it doesn't look like it's smooth, but it actually is smooth. And I can get it, yeah. You can see that it, well, still can't see that it's smooth, but it's actually smooth. <laughs> it's just a, a bad layer inside. It's a really rough layer. Um, so it was pocketed, and then we have the hole for the um, for the collet nut, for the collet nut, and we have the two mounting holes, and then these two are going to be together like this. Let's hope, yeah, yeah, we did it, good. So really, it just looks like this when it's together. So they 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 marry it together very well, and these two mounting holes, it'll be mounted on. Yeah, they're married together very well. The uh, the mounting holes are appropriately located, and this is going to go up onto the. Um, to the, uh, what do you call it? Router. To the router, to the router mount. And we're still gonna have to figure out a way we can get a skirt all the way around. This is not gonna be that much material here to put a skirt on, but maybe what we'll do is we'll have a skirt on just this point, and then the air can go, can go out of the top portion of this, which will kind of be good because we want the air to be going into a, an upwards um, uh, direction anyway. So we'll, we'll do that. So let's try it out. We'll, let's put a skirt on it and see if we... Uh, actually, what we could do is we can put this on without the skirt and see if we get a lot of the dust to remain on the bottom and not have it fly everywhere. So let's, let's see if that works first. From the previous round, you can see the amount of dust that sort of got everywhere. I think it went all the way to, to that location, all the way in the back here and the, of the router. You'll see it on the floor. You can see it all over this area here. And you can see that it blew away from the main um, section because that's the router blower uh, just blowing all the, the, the dust. You can see it all through the floor. You can see it quite a bit in this location. And there's a huge amount of dust in this in this location here. So we, you can see that this definitely doesn't work. I mean, it's there's just way too much dust being created from um, the routing um, itself without any protection uh, whatsoever and without any vacuum also. So let's, uh, let's fit this on and see what happens with just the, the piece. Okay, so we're going to put this on first. We've, we've um, oriented it the right way, so the openings are on the bottom. And just let it stay there, I guess it does. And then we're going to put on this piece. Okay, good. And there's still good clearance with the, um, the collet under there. And the collet still sticks out, which is a good thing. And we're going to get these three inch screws in here. Now let's see how much dust is created on the table. We want to try to get as much dust on the table as possible. We want all of the air to come out the side and the dust should remain exactly where it is, um, is machined. Of course, this, this angle is going at a really high rate of speed, so some of the dust is going to be pushed outwards, but mainly it's going to stay in the, on the surface of the, of the area that it created the, uh, the, the routing. So let's make sure that's, that's correct. Uh, if that is true and this does work, then we'll put the skirt around it and we'll also put a, um, we'll have to put a skirt around this portion too, so we're going to have to figure out a way to do that. Uh, and we'll have to put the vacuum in and see how much dust we're able to collect in this process. All right, we're going to rerun this demonstration uh, using the same parts.
I would say that we are pretty successful. That pretty much the the dust remained in the area, which is really good. There might have been a little tiny bit of an area that the the air can go through where um, with the hole of the collet, I, but I want to still maintain that in the space. Uh, the air that was being pushed out here, I could feel it all the way from the other side of the room. So there's a lot of air coming out of this location, which is actually a pretty good thing. It's, it's being diverted really well. Uh, now we're going to put on a skirt. We could actually just have the skirt on and all the dust will probably stay on the table. We could just vacuum it up, vacuum it up after that. But we will also um, hook a vacuum up and see if that works as well. Um, and I think it's going to work really well. So, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get a skirt on this and um, and try it out with the with with and without the vacuum. Okay, I have installed the uh, the pieces back, and I've also put on a really really shabby job of a. Uh, Skirt. This is a $1.88 uh, mat from Walmart, and I just sort of uh, stapled this together so it wouldn't get sucked up into the um, into the vacuum, and you know, just piece this stuff together just to see if it'll work. And uh, we'll try it without the vacuum to see if it maintains the the dust inside of the skirt, and we'll do it uh, with the vacuum and to see what that difference is. So you can see that we have really done a great job in keeping all of the dust in this limited area. If there was some flying out, but that's just, you know, that's going to be, that's going to happen. Now we're going to try it with the vacuum hose attached. Stop, stop it. Clean their out. same place and and see how everything routes with the vacuum attached and this new mechanism installed
All right, that should be enough cutting to, to really determine whether this did a good job or not. That oh, yeah. It just started with this location right here. So the bit was in that location. And uh, we've noticed that once the, um, the vacuum actually gets over that location, it actually sucks all the, all the dust up. I don't know how full our vacuum cleaner is. Now it's full, it's pretty full. Cool. We didn't use it. Yeah, so that means that we didn't get as much suction as we could have, um, but the, um, I think it did a really, really good job uh, in collecting the dust. We can see that there are some scattering of dust, you probably saw in the video, that some was flying around, but that was just because of my really, really shabby job of doing a, um, a uh, skirt. And I could probably double or triple up the skirt, offsetting each cut and getting, uh, getting a much tighter um, uh, sort of field around that. Uh, a barrier for the uh, for the uh, the vacuum or negative pressure to to be held. So this is the um, the design process of the vacuum attachment for the uh, the green bull and uh, soon to come on the black foot and the black toe machines. And uh, from the design process to the actual cutting of the parts and testing the parts after they're done.